going cloud an extremely hard counter pick against Junior. Yeah. And on Town and City, since uh, this matchup generally is focused a lot depending on what stage you pick against Junior, because mm -hmm. if you have platforms like on Town and City and Battlefield, it becomes much harder for Junior since you have more space to work with on the stage to camp Junior right. with limit. Uh, whereas a stage like uh, FD or uh, Battlefield is a little bit tricky, since for Smash or yeah, or I mean for Smashville and uh, FD, it's a little bit trickier against Junior because. The platform on Smashville just makes it a little bit harder to time, uh, or just a little bit harder to run away from Junior consistently, and due to the fact that the stage is also smaller. Yeah. And FD, you can't land because there are no platforms. So. That is very true. What do you think a K9's okay, game plan as Cloud against Dark Junior should be? It, well, I know what it should. Well, I don't know generally what it should be in general, but I know what it is for him. It's mostly just waiting and waiting and waiting. But then, once the right opportunity comes, he strikes. Yeah, and I feel like that's what he could be looking for, but right now, Tater's looking to be the one to strike a lot more. Yeah. Like, probably grabs the Mecha Koopa. Though. You just saw right there, he was just standing there in that proper position, just waiting for Tater Nader to just move and approach towards him, and then just ends up with punishing off of it. And we even said before, I felt that, uh, even Strider said it, Cloud's definitely one of those characters that could fit K9 pretty well because of his, you know, mindset and patience in terms of the time when K9 plays well. He has all the patience and the patience to find that side B yeah. just on the point. It's a great punish there on the up B right there from K9. And he goes and gets the Mecha Koopa conversion right there. 39 and still rising. Oh my god. He's not letting Tater breathe at all. And it's all because <laughs> he found the Mecha Koopa. Yeah, guys, this is oppression in its purest form right here. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying that. This is pure oppression. That and K9 is now almost oh. at limit. But is that going to be it? No, no still KPI. living. Cloud actually being one of the heavier characters in this game. He still has a double jump, but decides not to air dodge and gets punished. Tater looking to quickly tie that up. That's kind of one of those deals that you do as a player fighting against Cloud. You kind of don't want to let Cloud run over you. And when you see the opportunity, start getting oh, damage. Yeah. Great air dodge read there from K9, taking game one off of Tater. The big thing about K9 is uh, that, in general, about K9, he's very good at chasing people. Yeah. And Cloud's one of the best characters at chasing people in the air. So naturally, it does seem like a good fit. It okay. does. But his playstyle has to like fit and mold around a character in a very specific way that fits his liking. And I think, in this example, I personally think in some matchups, like he's just more experienced with Sheik and Diddy. So the more and more he just plays Cloud, I guess like he just be more comfortable with it over time. Yeah. Okay, keeping Taternator on the ledge. Good down air. Mm -hmm. Now again, K9 nice. reversing the situation. Alright, K9 looking to just come back. Finds that dab. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Finds that dab. <laughs> Finds that jab. <laughs> the dab one and the dab two. <laughs> no, man. Uh, dab cancel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the hype cancel right there. Yeah, that is. Alright, so, anyways, Taternator spacing fares and good jabs just to break up the pressure on the shield. Okay, good back air. Okay, so he's still applying very good pressure right now on K9, which is making him harder to approach. But then he ends up finding a, a freaking zone breaker right there off a dash attack. Down air. Alright, Tater comes in with that down air. That's kind of one of Tater's two moves that Ooh. I used to Oh, that was yeah. super crucial. Tater, Tater was looking to see that oh. direction. That okay, he's still alive. Yeah, That's center stage. Alright, look good job from Ooh, K9 holding it through. A good pivot to that dash attack. It almost feels like every time we try to start something is when <laughs> it's just usually when K9 tries to get a stock. Yeah, that is very it's true. It's just like and K9. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> like that's just what happens. <laughs> all right, so Tanner and Nader are not are not doing too bad. All he needs really is just one up B kill or uh, any solid confirm off stage. Oh, yeah, and definitely a setup. Ooh, and, and an, <laughs> an up smash works too. Yep. It, it is one of those moves that Tater does put out. He tosses off that Mega Koopa and he goes for up smash. The Mega Koopa kind of covers his up smash because if you do get hit by it and you're trying to avoid it, you could run into Tater with that up smash. Um, one of those two moves that Tater does use a lot in the neutral is when he's off the stage, he goes for down B and he tries to follow up with another move. Yeah. Or he and then he tries to also move in with side B. So Kanan is kind of keen to just try to catch Tater off those moves. Um, and that's probably his best bet is to see the fact that if Tater goes, oh, oh if you yeah. want to hit Bowser Jr. off that, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. yeah, if you want to hit Bowser Jr. off that, I mean, you would have flown out to the blossom because if you do hit Bowser Jr. off the cart, um, they lose the recover. Yeah. Okay. Pick a punish on the down air this time. 
Alright, so really, what Tater can do is actually, yeah, reverse the situation by just keeping Cloud in the air as much as possible, since uh, Bowser Jr.'s up air just does a lot of damage in general, too, so... Doing that isn't too bad, Oh, Okay, nice, finds the up air, but still able to come back. Good job on the chase down with that, saw that uh, Tater was trying to find the conversion off that himself. Yeah. Okay, good roll right there, right there from the canine, just not allowing him to move. But still, Tater fighting back with the Mecha Koopa. Alright, okay. nice. Using that blade beam to find a little bit of a zoning tool and stop Tater. Ooh, the back air not quite just yet. Still keeping Tater in a good, uh, in a bad spot. Good pivot, looking for Tater's landing here. Tater decides to land far away. And I'm sticking close to him though when he goes for the up beat. And that's kind of one of those things that Honda say Kanai has been doing. He's been punishing Tater for going for up beat. And he hasn't been able to find a conversion. Yeah. Ooh, Tater just stalling right now. Oh, but then he ends up getting the air dodge. K9 good. taking it to O. Good, good wait from K9. That was a lot of patience, but it's also good awareness. The fact that Tater goes for the up B a lot. He's been doing that, especially if he's stalling, he has to come in for up B just to come back on the stage. And Bowser Jr. pops up just enough for that side B to actually connect. Yeah, man, still good stuff right there from K9. I have to go play my match right now. I'll All see right. you guys later. Wish good luck for Dynamo, as I will find another person to do commentary. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be joined by a new commentator coming up on the mic. What's up, man? How's it going? Feels good.